So today we're talking about Lucas Bishop from Earth 1191, and he first premiered in Uncanny X-Men number 282. Now, Bishop was born in a dystopian future and traveled back in time to team up with the X-Men. In his original timeline, he was part of the XSE, or the Mutant Police Force. And during his time in the Mutant Police Force, he was chasing down a criminal named Fitzroy. And he ended up going through a temporal portal that transported him back decades before he was born. Now his original intention was to change things in his past to then prevent things in the future. But with time travel, it works a little bit differently, especially when we were talking about alternate timelines. Again, when I started this video, I said that he comes from Earth 1191 and the Earth that he goes back to and that timeline was Earth 616. So things didn't really change the way he wanted to. Nonetheless, he ended up being a great member of the X-Men and in the current Koa days, he is one of the great commanders or great captains. So let's talk about his powers. Now, oftentimes when you will see Bishop, he'll be glowing or have some kind of um, energy around his hand. Now, his main ability is that he has energy absorption and he could pretty much absorb all forms of energy, including magic, psionic, psychic, sound energy, all pretty much everything. Now, because he can absorb energy, a lot of people didn't know that he can use this in offensive and defensive capabilities. Yes, he does have the ability to shoot concussive blasts, but he can store energy as well, utilizing it in a myriad of of different ways such as super strength superhuman reflexes and speed and durability now because he has these abilities right because he can absorb he also can enhance his healing right the amount of energy he absorbs allows him to heal at a superhuman rate now let's not get confused just because he is a powerhouse doesn't mean he doesn't have the ability to fight during his time in the xse or the mutant police force he's been afforded with a ton of training and also weaponry as well as you could tell see he has pretty much some high-tech weaponry in, turn, in terms of like rifles and just other forms of technological uh, weapons, right? For lack of a better word. Despite all the experiences that Bishop has had, it still seems as if that his powers have not been explored to the highest capacity yet. Notice how I said all of those things like uh, superhuman healing, strength, and things of that nature. It's not fully explored to the highest capacity in a myriad of different ways in the comic books. Now, he's very similar to uh, other characters who can absorb energy too. So let's talk about his weaknesses as well. Now, Bishop's ability is a little bit different from Agent Zero and also Sebastian Shaw, where he cannot absorb the impact, right? So if I push him into like a wall, for example, or drop him off of the roof, he won't be able to absorb energy energy that way right most of his powers are in in fact kinetic energy absorption but he cannot get impact or absorb energy from um, physical trauma for example so I know that part gets a little bit confusing when we're talking about energy absorption and kinetic energy because wouldn't that technically be a kinetic energy right of sorts really you have to go back to the word energy right instead of like physical attacks right so if i punch him in the face that's not going to cause him to absorb and store energy he has to receive some kind of like energy source in itself right so if for example if if gambit was to throw one of his kinetic cards at him he then can absorb it why because the card is is um, bounded by kinetic energy. Now, although he can absorb kinetic energy, which also includes a, lot, a myriad of different energies as well, such as psionic energy, it doesn't make him impervious to telepathic attacks. Now, like I said before, it, this also means that he's not impervious or invulnerable to just regular physical attacks too. He can take a punch. He will receive it. You know what I mean? Now, something else to note about Bishop's abilities is that it is both passive and active. Now, the passive portion comes in the form of the absorption. He doesn't truly control that. He doesn't go up to someone and say, like, shoot me, I'll absorb it. His body goes through the process of just absorbing through its autonomic system, meaning that his body will just take charge. If he's about to receive a hit, he just needs to stand in front of that um, and then it will absorb it in. Now, in terms of the energy concussion blast, he then can actively shoot that out or release it, right? Now, does he get a sense of being overly charged or there's too much energy? Absolutely. Now, there are some forms of energy that he has a little bit of a harder time um, receiving and absorbing. For example, Cyclops' optic blast and also 
aurora or storm's lightning itself now we're a little bit unclear on the reason why but i could theorize that well the concussive blast is probably just a different type of energy um, from cyclops because cyclops is literally opening a portal to another dimension so maybe it's not as strong and when it comes to when it comes to bishop he has a hard time absorbing um ambient type of energy right and ambient really just relates to light and part and we could kind of theorize that cyclops's energy has to do with some kind of um just light energy right but that's still unclear because it does come from a whole different dimension overall bishop is a really interesting character he's been one of my fan favorites for a really long time now i can't wait to see how he progresses in the future stories now at the time of this recording he is he has a prestigious role in terms of Krakoa, right? One of the commanders or the high-level captains itself. When Cyclops stepped down as one of the captains to then go back and join the X-Men, he stepped up and he um, was given this title, right? By Cyclops, which is a, is a pretty big deal, right? And I hope to see that his powers will then get explored a little bit more or he becomes more efficient right in the use of his abilities meaning that the more he stores energy he can then say like hey i just want to use this to increase my physical strength and that's it or hey i just want to use it to enhance my speed and that's it right so as we could tell he's done a lot of these things in the comic books unconsciously slash consciously but is he if he's able to do this on a just a uh, hundred percent all the time consistent level then we have a powerhouse of a character that's not only just um really powerful but also a really good shooter and also a tactical advisor and captain itself so with that being said this is bishop aka lucas bishop from earth 1191 catch you all later